Hi, today I will show you my DIY polyester fiber dispenser made for a few hummingbirds. So first, we used a big red plastic cup. Uh, red because uh, the hummingbirds like this color and are attracted to it. Uh, we've cut a hole in the middle of this cup for the birds to access the insides. And then to make it smoother, we've added tape on all the edges so it doesn't uh, poke people. And then we took a straw, the, any straw will do. We cut into three parts, and then we've attached each part onto the side. After that, we take a stick, and then we uh, hot glue the stick onto on top of the straw. So this creates a ledge for the hummingbirds to sit on. And then after that, we uh, added some polyester fiber inside of the cup so that when the birds sit on the stick ledge, they're able to pull out parts of the fiber to use in their nests. And because our uh, hole is so big, we've added a piece of tape to keep the larger clumps in. Also, on top of this uh, dispenser, we've added a plastic cover. And this is to make sure that the fiber doesn't fly out or get dirty. And also when it rains, there's a bit of protection on top of the fiber. Yeah, so this is an experiment. We're not sure if it'll work, but we'll keep you updated. And yeah, we'll put it up for the birds to use now. So now this is the area where the hummingbirds usually are. Uh, over here, this is a nest we bought. Uh, it's originally for bigger birds, but uh, since we don't know or have time to make a smaller hummingbird nest, we just set it up and we put some felt inside in case the birds wanted to go in. So far, there's no birds in it. So that's why we created the dispenser so that the bird can make their own nest. So we've uh, secured the dispenser now onto this ledge. Uh, there's hot glue holding it in place. Uh, yeah, and hopefully the bird will come on the branch and be able to pull out some of the fibers. Yeah, so now we just wait for the bird So this is our hummingbird feeder. We bought this at Home Depot and we found that it's one of the more useful and practical feeders that we have. Uh, its construction is made of glass for the fluid and then it also has a plastic top and bottom. The flowers are rubbery and they can, they're flexible, they can move. Yeah. So the good thing about this design is that the feeder can open up on two parts. You can screw the lid off, this red top portion, and then you can also screw the bottom off, the bottom red portion. This way you, you're left with only the glass and it's easier to clean. Uh, this glass is good as well because it helps to maintain the liquid and it's safe, safer than plastic. Also we have a plastic feeder that occasionally mold, molds the liquid inside, but this one is very rare. And then we've suspended this from the top using a chain. And now I will uh, refill the feeder and clean up the top. So this is the feeder. Currently on the top, uh, there's water because this is the ant guard. In case an ant uh, finds the sugar, they will get trapped in this water portion. Uh, also, it always gets dirty because there's little bugs or dirt that get trapped on the top. So now I will open this thing and then dump the water. So this is the, you can see inside, there's uh, insulation on the bottom to keep it from leaking. And there's a hole that will distribute the liquid to all of the flowers. And these flowers, you can move them around. They have this little ledge for the bird to sit on. You can also take them out if you want to clean the inside holes. But the easier way is to either get a pipe cleaner and individually uh, clean the little holes or just spray them with water. Now this is our nectar. It's uh, using a recipe, simple recipe. It's 
currently, because it's winter right now, it has uh, one cup of sugar and two cups of water. But usually, like during the summer or spring, we'll give them a ratio of one cup of sugar and four cups of water. And then fall, because it, start, it starts to get colder, we'll change the ratio to one cup of sugar, three cups of water. So this is the nectar, and we'll put it in. And then we screw the top back on. And then we will hook the chain back onto this feeder. Yep. And then now we have this uh, spray bottle of water. We'll fill up the top, the ant guard again with water, and then we'll clean out the rest of the flower. So now the flowers are clean, so the bird will be able to drink the nectar that we just put in. Thank you for watching.